So let's get started with the easy part, which is the top cover itself or the lid to the center console. We need to remove the bottom of the lid, which is attached with several screws that I'm pointing out here. There are also two screws under this cover here. This cover is a bit of a hassle to take off and requires a considerable amount of prying to remove. One thing I would like to point out here is that my truck is equipped with a center seat underneath the console. This requires purchasing a different charger kit as the part you're replacing is different from the five-seater trucks. Dennis did a fine job removing these screws and the bottom of the lid comes right off. Now we have four screws that are holding the tray in place and those need to be removed as well. All the screws we're removing in this installation are Torx head screws and are actually smaller than usual. Um, I actually had to use my mini set of Torx head bits for this install. Definitely could not have done it without the help. There's an existing hole that the cable runs through. Uh, no extra holes need to be drilled. Just feed the cable through and pop the charger in. Now we have to do everything in reverse. So putting all the screws back in, four screws here for this piece. Just gotta be careful not to over tighten them since I'm using a drill driver. Pretty straightforward here, I believe. Just gotta be careful when uh, putting this back on, not to pinch the wire that comes out the bottom. Just gotta route it into little open spaces that are available. Nice and easy, making sure not to strip the screws. There we go. Just gonna get an idea of how I'm gonna run these wires. Spoiler alert, they should not have put this on. These guys are amateurs. It's like they're doing this for the first time. Hm. Ta-da! Ta-da indeed. So far, so good. The connectors are one way and are impossible to get wrong. The connectors are one way and are impossible to get wrong. To figure out how to route this power cable up into the console. Gotta make sure the wires don't get pinched when the seat comes up and also when the lid comes up. Since the wire and the connector from the charger doesn't make it all the way to the bottom, I decide to run the longer cable from the harness up into the lid and make the connection there. After tucking the wire neatly out of the way where it won't get pinched, it is time to snap everything back into place. First the front piece needs to go in, then the top and then the sides. Checking to make sure everything moves like it should and the wire doesn't get pinched anywhere. This is where I realize my mistake and have to pop this cover back off. A little bit of trial and error and I find a good spot to tuck this connector away. Ah, beautiful. 
Well, is it time to test it out? Works like a charm. All right, your turn, Dennis. Look at that. It even charges other phones. We've got a nice pulsing blue light that tells you when your phone is being charged. So this install video should be pretty universal. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Um, follow us for more uh, projects that we do together. Right, Dennis? Yeah. See you next time.